Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new features and changes available on Windows 11 build 25201. In addition, this video will also cover all the changes from the last 7 other previews since our last video. So today we're looking all the new stuff from build 25174 through build 25201. Because Microsoft hasn't added too many things, we're rounding up all the new changes into one video. These new changes are not tied to a specific release of Windows 11. However, some of them are expected to arrive as soon as they're ready through the moment updates. And some others may arrive with the next version of Windows, which could release in 2024. Okay, here's what's new on Windows 11 build 25201 and previous releases. On build 25201, the widgets dashboard has been updated with an option to expand the board across the desktop so you can have a full screen experience. Also, the system will remember the settings. So the next time that you go to the widgets board, you will get into the full screen directly. So if you want the traditional half screen layout, you have to click the button again to collapse the board. On the taskbar, the system tray icons has been updated. So now when you hover the icon, the tooltip will show a modern design with rounder corners. Starting on build 25187, Windows 11 introduces one more time a new taskbar design for tablets, previously unveiled on build 22563. The updated version of the taskbar will automatically transition to a tablet mode as you can see right here when disconnecting or folding the keyboard on a compatible device. This feature won't be available for laptops or desktop so that is why it's not available on my installation and I have to show you a screenshot. The taskbar offers two modes collapse and expanded. The collapse mode which you can see on the left side hides all the icons except those essential ones for the system tray, giving you more space and preventing you from accidentally invoking the taskbar when holding a tablet. In the expanded mode, as you can see on the right, the taskbar is more optimized for touch with bigger icons. You can easily switch between the two states by swiping up or down from the bottom of the device. You can always control the experience from the settings up more specifically from the personalization section and on the taskbar, under the taskbar behavior, you have to enable or disable this option right here. Another minor detail on Windows 11, it's that now it makes the Windows Terminal the new default command tool for the desktop. Now let's look at the new changes for the settings app. In the last seven previews, Microsoft has been adding some tweaks and improvements for this application. For example, now the icons for the navigation on the left are now animated. So every time that you click to switch between the different sections, you will notice an animation that is related to the icon. On time and language, instead of the typing page, you will notice that the show the touch keyboard setting has been updated with a drop down menu that allows you to change the behavior to never when no keyboard is attached and always. Before it was just a option that had two states which was on and off but now there is a third option so it's now a drop down menu. On network and internet when you open the Ethernet or the Wi-Fi settings, you will notice that the page has been updated and it now has two different sections. One that shows you the information about the network connection and at the bottom, now that's the place where you're going to find the different settings to manage the network connection, such as to change the network profile type and to change the IP assignments or DNS server IP addresses, as you can see right here. And even you can enable meter connection. 
Also, if you go to the advanced network settings, when you open a network adapter, Microsoft added this new option that it gives you access directly to the network adapter properties. Before you actually needed to go to control panel and go through different steps just to access these connection properties. In the accounts section, if you have an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, PC Game Pass, Xbox Game Pass for a console or the Xbox Live Gold subscription, you will now be able to see the subscription details on the page as you can see right here. As part of the details, you will be able to see billing recurrence, payment method, and the games and benefits associated with your subscription. Even more, you will be able to manage and upgrade your subscription, redeem gift cards tokens, and take any required actions. Of course, this is in addition to the information details from a Microsoft 365 subscription if you have that service. This also includes the standalone version of Office and OneDrive. The settings app also includes some other UI tweaks and that includes a new style for the rename this PC option, which now looks how it's supposed to look on the Windows 11 design before it used to have that Windows 8, Windows 10 design. And you can see the same thing when you go to time and language and then go to date and time and then, and then you try to set the time manually. You will see that now we have this new interface. File Explorer is also getting a few updates and that includes when clicking a folder from the left navigation pane using the middle click of the mouse, the folder will now open in a new tab. Also, the file manager can now show results as you type on the search box. Let's just, for example, type Windows. As you can see, I have to press enter or anything. I just start typing and the search will happen automatically. And that's pretty much all that's new on Windows 11 build 25201 and the last seven previews. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.